An eighth grader in the south suburbs wrote us an email we just couldn't ignore. She's a poet and expressed disappointment her work wasn't getting more attention. So we're happy to have CBS 2's Jim Williams spread the word about the budding wordsmith. Melody Elisimi, a poet at 13, finds the right words when they're needed most. I love my dad so much. He really is a fighter. Whenever I would frown, he'd make my smile brighter. The daughter of Nigerian immigrants grabbed her pen when dad Fred battled cancer. My dad won the battle, and as his daughter, I am proud. He beat the dreadful disease. Sorry, cancer, three's a crowd. I was in tears. I couldn't believe she she can um, put everything in poetry. And um, we, we, we fought and we conquered. The cancer. This poem pays tribute to frontline workers. I salute our heroes everywhere in every time zone, fighting with us so we don't have to fight alone. You are a gift that keeps giving so we can keep living. You are fighting in the darkness, braving the belly of the beast. Melody discovered her love of poetry in the third grade and relished how her verses made others feel. They would either say, you're making me cry, or they would be very happy, and it just brought joy to other people. Now an eighth grader at Wentworth Junior High in Calumet City. My name is Melody Lacey. I'm at Wentworth Junior High, class of 2021. She's featured on the school's website under the banner, Rising Star Creates Beautiful Message. I know that we can still rise, though we seem to be defeated. Maybe this fight is exactly what was needed. On Inauguration Day, Melody found inspiration from another young poet, Amanda Gorman. Americans and the world. It gave me motivation because thinking she got up there and who knows maybe I will one day too. Melody Elisimi, a safe bet at 13. So thank you our heroes. I know you have this in the bag. Thank you for continuing to push on and never waving the white flag. Melody's proud dad told us she is a straight A student. No surprise there. And she'll be published in a book that includes the work of other young poets. We're live. Jim Williams, CBS 2 News.